to all the haters out there, there's so much protein in this you don't even know. Like literally every essential amino acid you have. So who needs to kill a cow? Think about it. Think about it. Hi, I'm Chelsea and you're watching Cooking for More. the seeds today because I want it to be extra spicy but I love flavor and like when we have a food truck I promise I won't make everything as spicy but like just know you gotta sweat a little bit like your food should make you sweat bro so we're gonna try making burgers today and I feel like they're going to be amazing so first off we have cooked down the jalapenos and onions and walnuts and garlic like you saw and add that right to the food processor. You know, we got a new roommate and she brought a food processor in the house and that is just a blessing, let me tell you. Whoa. Whoa. We're going to add some black beans every time and I can't get it open. So you just shake it a little bit and they go in. Okay. Egg replacer, this is by Energy. I think this is like the main brand that all the vegans use, you know. I'm so sorry we don't do measurements. I. I'm working on it, but not really. I'm, I promise, I'll, I'll work on it. But like, we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of this. We don't have beets, which is usually what is used, but I happen to have a dragon fruit. I thought it would be white, but it's purple. So I'm gonna add two little chunks of that. Weirdly, it's not even sweet. So like, hopefully it just makes it look like blood. It's kind of weird, but like, you know, people like their vegan burgers to look like real burgers. We don't know about the breadcrumbs yet. We're gonna see, um, but let's add hella seasoning. Uh, excuse my language. We're not using regular salt, just some seasoning salt. Might add more, I don't know. Um, really season this up, so. Paprika, a lot of it. Oregano, touch of cumin. My grandmother told me you must put a touch in everything. So, let's do that. Reference the lasagna video? Yeah, you can go watch our vegan lasagna video called Grandma Wanted Vegan Lasagna. It's real good. Rest of my black pepper chives because like anything that's in the onion family is my favorite are you an ogre damn <laughs> i am an ogre low-key don't i look like fiona kind of princess fiona not the ogre one um this is chipotle powder we are very excited to have this in our kitchen now we're gonna make some chipotle mayo to go on this too so like the underlying theme is chipotle burger ratchet if i had a restaurant or a food truck look out for us um i would not do this mm -hmm. i'm back with the rice. This is short grain brown rice. You know, you can use quinoa, you can use long grain rice, you can use white rice, whatever, but we think this is going to be the best option. So, you know, we're right about everything. Just kidding, no we're not. We're experimenting just like you should, you know? The kitchen is a fun place to experiment. You don't need perfect measurements, just have fun with it. Liquid aminos, you could use soy sauce. More dragon fruit, because it's not pink enough and I want it to be pink, okay? Wish I had beet juice, but like, whatever. And you know what, this is not an economically friendly option. You should use beets because dragon fruit is expensive. Freaking $5 for one dragon fruit, are you kidding me? barbecue sauce and okay I need to say something quick about the barbecue sauce we got the honey chipotle so like you know honey is not considered vegan <laughs> we will work on no more honey okay cuz like save the bees dude okay so in real life nothing is perfect right so We're going to add more seasoning. We feel like it needs a little more um, a little more um. We use seasoning around here, okay? Because like, what is life without seasoning? We just added onion, more onion to this roasted onion, toasted onion, toasted, yes. Toasted, not roasted. Same thing. No, it's not. Lemon pepper, because I don't have any lemons right now and I can't steal any off my neighbor's tree because I'm too short. Okay. So I realized we needed lemons 
um, for the kale chips. So here we are in our backyard. Now there is actual video proof of us stealing lemons from our neighbor. Sorry, man. But like, there's so many big ones. We have our own lemon tree, but it's the worst lemon tree. I don't know who planted it. Just two will do. Flex for me, Chelsea. Look at that, I went to the gym yesterday. <laughs> I'm actually very sore right now, to be honest. Okay, and for real, don't be afraid to taste things when you're like when you're cooking them. You shouldn't wait till the end to taste it. Like you should taste through the process so you know what to add. It's home cooking, baby. Get up in your own meal. Okay, so in case you read my mind. More liquid smoke. Because we like things to be smoky. It looks like beef. Oh my god. It's pretty flavorful. So Chief called and he said that we need breadcrumbs, so we're going to have Why Zach's making an ugly face at me. He didn't like that. Oh, I was just I didn't hear Chief ring on your phone, I'm sorry. <laughs> Little breadcrumbs because we wanted it to be a little more sturdy. This is a real lie right here. This is not the real Chelsea. This is internet Chelsea. No, I feel like <laughs> it is. <laughs> okay. I think that is- <laughs> Hold on. You've been like this. You're wearing a peace, love, and vegan shirt. That's not you. <laughs> He's vegan. Chelsea with t-shirts with that actually say things on them. <laughs> uh, actually, this isn't even mine. This is Casey. She's the one with the- you know, Vegan swag. Vegan swag shirts, yeah. Okay, guys. Good. The gloves are back! Not for the jalapeno because, you know, I'm not smart. But now we're going to start forming the burgers. So the gloves are for the, your beef, yeah? For the beef, you know, so I don't like um, cross contaminate or whatever. Too bad that doesn't happen in the vegan world. Yeah, actually, think about it. That's another cool fact about being vegan. I can use the same cutting board for everything. Pretty cool. You don't mean the chicken isn't gonna get with the vegetables and kill me? Exactly! <gasps> oh my god! How does that look for a burger? Looks pretty good, huh? Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, well, I, you don't need to watch Actually, so look at that. Gonzola came out, but it's $14. So it's $14! So I can't do this often. Here we have the type of bouquet I would like on Valentine's Day. Kale. If you were to be my Valentine, never get me flowers or chocolate. First of all, I can't have chocolate. Flowers die. Get me exotic fruits. That's all. I'm here to make kale chips because it's really all I requested with this. Obviously, Chelsea is much more quick than I am, or quicker is quicklier. I don't know. She likes to rip things instead of using a knife, so I'm giving it the Chelsea touch. I spent my whole life growing this kale for today. We might be vegans, but we're normal people and have normal kitchens that really aren't set up for, actually, come on now, I grew up with some people with some wealthy kitchens, actually, with those big old islands, you could always videotape and cook. But here, we're normal people, and we have to videotape from the outside. <laughs> we don't have that. But luckily, we're not like just the average person. We have this nice slab of granite, and so we place it over our sink to make the studio lighting. And I would like to say, I was bomb, huh? Yeah, you do. Anyways. You get rid of this unnecessary plastic in your stance that binds the kale, and it usually rips a few pieces off. It's so, it's, they've got a thing. There's some tech to it, hold on. And here we go, they make it purple so you can see it so well on the purple kale. And then this is purple kale. Um, you might be confused because it's purple, but guess what? It's just like green kale. Zacky the, the science, science guy. Zack, 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 Zack. Antho, Casey, what is it? Oh, anthocyanins? Oh, anthocyanins! <laughs> is it's, that... a, it's a purple antioxidant that's in purple vegetables. So like when you have red onions, purple cabbage, um, purple cauliflower, it's really high in this antioxidant. So that's really good. Makes you live longer. Makes your skin nice. Mm. 
All this green waste you're not gonna eat, put it in the compost. Or it'll just make you feel better because you're not throwing more crap in a landfill. It's all ripped up into nice Chelsea chunks. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna season it. So here, of course, we're gonna have nutritional yeast because this does have a nice like cheese aspect to it, though with the consistency and the way it kind of cooks down. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna put this in here as well, just covered in it. You're now gonna get your, we're using Himalayan pink salt because you know, vegans and millennials, they just <laughs> need all the cool stuff. So just to get some of that in there, you might need a little bit more. Saltiness is okay. Paprika, because I, it gives a kick. Paprika and, and lemon flavorful. are the perfect friends. That's why also Chelsea and I are perfect friends because I know how to do things and she knows why they need to be done. So I pour paprika, she tells you why. And peplo. Because as I told you guys last video, we love a good kick. <laughs> Pepper is not a kick. It is a kick, but like if you, if, if you have the palate of a newborn, thick, you gotta put some back. Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, so that thing is there. But you gotta get your stance. Because remember, we're vegans and we do our squats. We're gonna use one whole lemon for now. A big old lemon. So uh -huh. if you got small lemons, use two. Mm -hmm. Use gloves if you're a weirdo. I'm not, so. You could do this with a spoon. A lot of people would. Um, I got a little over eager here, and I am now currently massaging this kale. I need to get all these pieces in here. Never be afraid to go and get more seasoning. Really tear it up. Look at okay. that color. Mmm, that's oh. beautiful. Fabulous people, let me tell you. <laughs> it is. It is now when you look at like that bag. That's why you keep getting invited. So we are called Cooking for More for a reason. We actually do cook for way more people than the average household. I, I told them it would be the best burger of all time. That's not kind of a stretch, but like... You're not wrong. I feel no, like it no. might be fire. No. 